Hello all, this is Professor Kishore Mani from D.Y. Patil College of Engineering and Technology Kolhapur. Today we learn the exception handling mechanism. So this particular concept is very much useful inside the C programming language uh, and C++ programming language. So first we discuss what is the learning outcome. So you will be able to apply the exception handling mechanism in the program after learning this concept also you will be able to design the user defined exception classes by your own so that you can use it in your program to handle the exception so first we just discuss what is mean by exception handling so exception is a program which is arise during the execution of the program so exception is a runtime error that can be occurred during the program so exception provides a way to transfer the control from one part of the program to the another so here we have to avoid this exceptions by safely handling this so that we can terminate from the program after executing the message so basically inside the C++ the exception handling is built upon the three keywords that is try catch and throw so here we just discuss the details of the these three blocks so here the try catch block try block identifies a block of the code for which a particular exception will be occur okay so it includes the particular code where or in which the exception may occur so whenever any exception is occur then try catch a uh, try block throws that exception to the catch block so inside the catch block we have to just write the code which can be executed after occurring of the exception and the third block is the throw so a throw block is used to manually throw the exception after the statement by writing the throw keyword and the name of the particular exception so this is the particular hierarchy of the try and catch block so one try block and multiple catch blocks can be written for one try block so inside the try block as per my earlier explanation it includes the code in which the exception may occur and inside the catch block we have to write the exception class name and the message which can be executed after the exception may occur so here if we want to throw the exception then we have to use the throw keyword so this is the simple example of the throw keyword so if b is equal to is equal to 0 so in the division example if a upon b is the division then if value of the b is equal to is equal to 0 then it is very difficult to execute the code so at that time it occurs the exception and exit from the program so to avoid that to handle the exception and to exit from the program safely we use the exception handling mechanism so for that we use the throw keyword so th after the throw keyword we have to just display the message which can be display after the execution may occur the catch block following the try block catches any exception so here as per earlier said that catch block catches the n number of exceptions 
so this is the particular program without the exception handling mechanism so if a is equal to 20 b is equal to 0 and if c is equal to a upon b then since value of the b is equal to 0 so it just display the error so this is the particular example where we can handle the exception and by using the exception handling mechanism so here we just handle the exception divide by 0 so here if value of the b is equal to 0 then inside the try block we just handle the exception and whenever if b is equal to is equal to 0 it just throw the exception by using the throw keyword else it just display the uh, whatever the else part inside the program so here one try block again having the multiple catch block blocks to handle the n number of exceptions which may be occurred inside the one try block so here this is the so here we just take the pause and we just think which are the keywords used for the exception handling mechanism so i will take the pause you just think and after that we just discuss which are the keywords okay so here as per the our all earlier discussion the exception handling mechanism having the three keywords that is try catch and throw so try block includes the particular code in which the exception may occur the catch block includes the message to be displayed when any specific exception is occurred inside the try block and the throw is used to manually throw the exception So here C++ contains the different types of the standard exception classes. So the std colon exception is a standard exception class which includes the many different exception uh, exceptions. For example domain underscore error or length underscore error or out of range error, exception and so on. So this is the description about the exception. So if you want to handle the new user defined exceptions, that is if you want to create the your own exception, then we can create it by using the S3 colon exception class. So this is how we can create the exception. So we have to create the class my class that is the name of the exception class and we have to exchange the public exception class and here we just write the message which can be shown whenever the exception is occurred and we have to use this particular exception over the particular program so throw my exception again catch my exception so in this way we can handle or create the user defined exceptions so inside this particular again program if you carefully observe that whenever it just inside the try block if a is equal to a is equal to 0 then it just throw the my exception so whenever it just throw the my exception it goes to the catch block so inside the catch block it just execute the my exception caught message and it again execute the e dot what function which is defined inside the my exception class so again if we are, we are having the other exceptions than the my exception then to handle the general exceptions we again use the catch exception e class so exception e class is used whenever you don't know 
which exception may occur in your program so to handle the general exceptions we use this particular class so i hope you can understand this particular exception handling concept very clearly and we can you can able to create the user defined exception classes by your own thank you